it was difficult to ask for help, but um, but when I came in and um, when I came into Maggie's, it was unbelievable. It was just it just felt right. The minute I met her, it just. I just felt like a kid, you know, goosebumps. And I knew straight away, you know, this is a person that I really love to marry and, you know, have children with. She just filled me with such happiness. I guess you um, try and live day by day, really, and you pray the days get longer. It was nearly a year to the day. She passed away on Mother's Day at home with us. I didn't know when, when I started to speak uh, with Emma um, at the centre how much I needed that help, to be honest. I just felt like I was imploding, to be honest. I think it was just being overwhelmed with everything and just trying to cope, bringing up Saffron without Amanda there. And Saffron was 14 when Amanda passed away. You know, she's very, very close to her mum. And there's few things I think only a mother uh, could get out of a child, but it was quite hard really to speak to Saff. Emma just put things in order that, you know, you're doing well and helping me through this trauma. And, just gives me that confidence. I could take that outside and build that father-daughter relationship some more, not being afraid to ask certain things. I can't thank Maggie's enough, I feel very great. You know, my father-daughter relationship is fantastic. And there's a nice bond there. I'm really proud of her, and I know Amanda will be smiling up there. You know. She'll be saying, that's my girl. Thank you.